that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. The Squeak Wolf. So in my previous Mario Collection video, I looked at the collection by each set of figures, but I decided to change things up a bit and do it by character. With that being said, here is the main man himself. It's a me, a Mario. Some of the more recent Marios added to the collection are the Movie Mario 5-inch figure. This is actually one of my favorite Mario figures now. He has really nice articulation and detail, and on top of that, he kind of reminds me of the CDI Mario a little bit. Some other figures of note here are the Mario Sunshine 30th Anniversary figure. In terms of small figures that don't articulate, this is probably my favorite. From another 30th Anniversary line, these figures that feature some game artwork. These are literally just clear plastic with the artwork printed on it. It's not really as cool as the actual figures. Also, one of my favorites is this custom Mario figure I used in a stop motion a while ago. Uh, this figure is pretty ridiculous, but it is custom. I think it's pretty funny. And we'll end off here with the SH Figure Arts Mario riding the cart from the Toy Biz figure. Moving on to Luigi, this new 2.5 inch figure is really excellent. It really showcases how far the Jax line has come especially in terms of articulation and paint. I also really like the movie Luigi figure. Same deal as Mario, he reminds me of the CDI game. Honestly, not too much else to touch on in terms of Luigi. I really want Jack Specific to make a Luigi's Mansion figure, but that probably isn't going to happen anytime soon, unfortunately, so alas, I am stuck with the Burger King figure, which isn't too bad for a fast food toy. The recent 2.5 inch Jack Specific Yoshi is good. Pretty much all the recent releases that upgrade older figures have been great. Another cool one is his Yoshi figure from, I think, McDonald's or Burger King. It was just kind of chilling there. Also, the baby Yoshi, it kind of looks like Fat Yoshi from Mario RPG. Alright, so next we have... Donkey Kong! The new 4-inch Donkey Kong is honestly a really good figure. I wish he had an ab crunch, but other than that, the articulation is a big improvement from the first. He still has the smile, I wish they would give him a closed mouth. This small Donkey Kong down here is to my knowledge the only figure based off of the DK movie design other than the McDonald's figure, which is too bad since I would have loved a 6 inch one. I guess Jax could technically still make one and they probably will for a sequel, but since all the movie figures are hitting clearance I doubt we'll be seeing it anytime soon. So I guess this is all for now. Moving up, the giant Wiggler figure is pretty fun. I remember I found this figure like the day after it was announced, uh, and that was a cool experience just to walk into the store and be like, there it is, what do you know? Alright, so Toad is here. Uh, I don't have the upgraded Toad or the Toadette 4-inch figure that came out recently, but they both look like good figures. I hope they make a Toadsworth figure too, but given Toadsworth's recent public appearances, uh, I kind of doubt they will. One Toad figure I did get recently is the movie figure, which is honestly pretty good but definitely not worth its original retail price of $20. So if you can get it on sale, uh, yeah, I'd say go for it. Next is Peach. I bought the newer 2.5 inch figure, but mine has an error where the dumbbell joint isn't pushed down far enough or something along those lines, which breaks up the sculpts a lot, but actually gives quite a bit more articulation uh, and you can cover it with the hands, so it's a bit of a fair trade off for me. The 2.5 inch Daisy and Rosalina are a little disappointing, honestly in my opinion, but considering it took them like 10 years to become figures in the first place, I can't complain too much. Moving on to the part of my collection that has grown the most. Koopas! This new Bowser figure from the Mario movie is one of the best figures Jax has ever made, especially in comparison to the original Bowser, which is still an okay figure, but the articulation, detail, and sculpting uh, on this new figure is so much better. And then on top of the original Jax Bowser is essentially the movie figure just scaled down, which is pretty cool I guess. Moving over, this new Waluigi 2.5 inch figure is one of the best figures in this scale. The 4 inch Wario, to my knowledge, has only been released once in the very first wave of 4 inch figures. Which is too bad, since it's a good figure. Hopefully, they either re-release him like they did Waluigi a few years back, or make a brand new one like they did with Donkey Kong. I did not have the airship or Bowser's castle at the time of the, of the first video, but both are pretty cool sets to put figures on. The last figure I'll comment on is the 2.5 inch Monty Mole, which is an incredibly simple figure, but at the same time is pretty much perfect. Well, with all that being said, I will give you a quick look around the collection.
Thanks for watching everyone. This is probably the biggest my collection will ever be, and I'm really glad I got the opportunity to archive it. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing it. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It would really help me out, and I really appreciate it. Thanks again everyone, and have an excellent day.